that time, it was pretty rough for the Japanese people. When we were in grade school, my sister and I, and they they knew that, you know, my grandfather is Japanese, so we were taunted a lot. But believe you me, my sister stood up and she fought. Farther west, prejudice and fear resulted in Japanese Americans being incarcerated for much of World War II in what were called internment camps. Our American citizens were put in camps. Anybody that was half Japanese on would be placed into a camp. It was um, around 1942 that the FBI, via the Monrovia Police Department, knocked on the door one evening and took my grandfather to be interrogated to the camp in New Mexico, in Santa Fe, where he was interrogated there. They took mostly the, uh, the leaders of the Japanese community or businessmen. There were posters that were plastered on telephone poles that if you are Japanese that live from this street to this area, you will report to Santa Anita with just what you could carry by hand, your suitcase, one suitcase, that's it. Santa Anita Racetrack, for example, suddenly became a community of about 17,000 persons. The Army provided housing and plenty of healthful, nourishing food for all. My cousin Bacon was there in Santa Anita, and he remembers the horse stalls that some of them had to be housed in before the barracks came, and it, the smell was just horrible. When my mother and my grandmother went past Santa Anita, and they noticed the barbed wire, the guards facing in, and all of these Japanese. For my mother and my grandmother, when they went to the Pomona fairgrounds waiting to be processed, my mother remembers how humiliating it was. At that time, she was about 18, 19. Had just started at Pasadena City College, and my mother, they had a ceremony goodbye to the Japanese. In Route 66 communities across Southern California, Many Japanese-American families lost what they had worked so hard to build. My grandfather had a gas pump on the property, and Mr. Good was the representative for Standard Oil, but he was just a lovely man. And my grandfather and Mr. Good just really hit it off and became very good friends. And when the executive order that Roosevelt had issued um, because of the Japanese being a threat. He most likely contacted Mr. Good and gave him power attorney. And Mr. Good rented out the property. And during the time that my mother and my grandparents were in the concentration camps, um, he sent them the monthly checks. But many families lost everything. 